Hello guys! Do you remember my previous vodka cooling video when we also had to use ice just to try keeping this old computer cold? Well, we failed miserably, but it was so fun! And yes, we didn't want to stop there. We had a lot of vodka left and we had another computer. This time around we didn't want to repeat our old mistakes, so we decided to put motherboard vertically in order to protect it from vodka leakage. So we have motherboard put like this and uh, then we have a huge red heatsink on the side. And under the heatsink we have a tray. So vodka will flow through the heatsink down into the tray without contacting any electronics, so this is perfectly safe. Yes, this totally sounds much better than our old crappy solution with uh, super glue and uh, plastic wrap. However, this time around we still had to use some head solution in the form of this rope, because my friend at last mounting for this heatsink, it still was stable enough for our testing. So we built our system like this. But it was very windy and bright on the outside, so we had to move indoors. We didn't want to restart the computer because it was taking too long time, so we decided to bear it in without turning it off. Yes, it really was a cheeky bricky way to do it. At least we didn't break anything. With our system in place we began testing. So we got stuck running here on maximum settings, without any fan of the a processor and uh, one of CPU cores is at 68 degrees C. I think those temperatures aren't acceptable, but I have an idea. We're gonna use vodka cooling again. Up to this point, before I used vodka to cool this processor, its temperature on overall sensor was at 66 degrees C. Temperature on core 0 was at 69 or 70 degrees C. Remember, this system doesn't have any fan on CPU cooler. My idea is that vodka will obviously cool the radiator and also it will evaporate from radiator surface causing further cooling of the system. So 68 degrees doesn't help, I'm not... I'm not sure it doesn't make a lot of difference right now, but... Well, 67. 68. <laughs> Uh, vodka right now in, is uh, room temperature, uh, so it's not as cold as uh, we did uh, last time when it was uh, out of the freezer. Uh, it's down to 64 degrees, by the way. Uh, perhaps it works. It just takes some time. I wanted to get the processor hotter using a stress test program, so I installed WinRAR to run its benchmark. CPU is all loaded to up to 100% at all times, so now proper cooling is critical and uh, hopefully we're gonna see a much more difference uh, when we apply vodka on the cooler. We get back to our normal situation where there is no vodka in the cooling system. Uh, and then we're gonna show difference when we put in more vodka again. By the way, this vodka down here is pretty warm and I think it really helps the system because when vodka is warm it evaporates and it takes heat away with it. It was getting hotter because I removed uh, almost all vodka from uh, the tray. I think it's pretty much over normal threshold because Pentium 4 had PK temperature of 62.5 degrees and now we have uh, CPU temp at 64 over H and core 0 is at 67. Uh, should we try to pour in vodka and see if it... Shortly after I applied vodka on the heatsink the temperature have uh, decreased a little bit. Lowest I could see this time was 64 degrees C on core 0 and 62 on uh, overall sensor. Just like I did last time with previous cooling system, I decided to add ice, just to see how much difference it is going to make. And the results were quite surprising. Even under full load on all four CPU cores, the temperature difference was pretty significant. Without any fan pointing at the heatsink, the temperature of core 0 on the CPU 
after application of vodka and ice has decreased from 67 degrees C down to 40 degrees in matter of minutes. And this was still with full load on all CPU cores using benchmark and game at once. We're gonna turn off all the programs that are stressing this computer, so we're gonna see uh, you know, how, how cold it is going to get when it doesn't work. I mean, when it doesn't perform any calculations. It's under room temperature. Stop doing it. Where did it start? So fun. <laughs> Without any load on the CPU, with just system running, we got as low as... Uh, how much was it? 9 degrees C on core 1. And under 20 degrees on overall CPU sensor. So, ice cooling is uh, pretty interesting. For future, I even have an idea about using water cooling radiator, so I can use vodka and ice to cool a processor. You know what you should do if you don't want to miss that. Please rate this video likes and dislikes, so I know if you appreciate or don't appreciate this sort of content. This was Cheeky Russian, thank you for watching this video. Увидимся снова!